Oh, hi, Peter. Hello, Sally. Um, I'd like to talk to you about your presentation to the marketing department this morning. Oh, yeah. How do you think it went? It was a tall order. I had a lot of technical information to get across to a group of people who don't do the job, but I did it. When you say you did it, I mean, how do you measure that? Well, I prepared a comprehensive slide deck, which I printed out and gave to them as handouts, and I explained the facts. The marketing department now have all the technical information they need to promote our products. And how did they respond? Uh, I don't know what you mean. How well did you keep the attention of your audience? Oh, I really don't see what you're driving at. I understood that the purpose of the presentation was to educate the marketing department, not entertain them. I completed the task required of me. I was just speaking to the marketing manager and he said they found your presentation hard to follow. Hard to follow? Yeah, he, he said Sally obviously knew her subject well, but she didn't seem to take into account that we come from a different business function. I was just being me. Well, being you is a real advantage when it comes to technical competence and knowledge. However, I firmly believe that there's more to presentation than just telling people the facts. You have to find ways to engage your audience. It's not my fault if they're not interested in what I have to say. No, I disagree. It's a presenter's role to keep them interested. It's not just about what you say, it's about how you say it. I mean, I've observed your presentations in the past. And although the content is sound, your delivery is quite fast and you always speak in the same tone of voice. But surely the content's most important? Well, the content is important. However, the people you're presenting to must want to listen to the content. I mean, if you were one of the marketing department this morning, what would it feel like to sit through your presentation? I never really thought about it. I guess it, I guess it must have been quite dull for them. And I suppose it was quite a challenge to take in all that technical detail, especially if I was racing through the slide deck. So are you starting to see why it's important for, for you to keep people's attention during your presentation? Yeah. Yeah, there's no point in me standing up talking at them for half an hour if nobody's listening to what I've got to say. Sally, next time you lead a presentation, what can you do to change your delivery style? I'll slow down when I'm talking and I'll try to find ways of making it more interactive. Uh, some more feedback about how I come across would be useful. And possibly a, a training course in presenting. Well, I'd be more than happy to offer you some feedback, but maybe I could watch you rehearse your next presentation. Yeah, that would help. You mentioned training. Let's go and have a look at the intranet now and see what courses are available. Okay.